it's interesting. I'm glad you're doing it, but I'm real, real uh, interested to see how it uh, evolves. Yeah, you mean so the script is already all written? So you've been up here before, huh? Mm hmm Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm Hello. Ruby. I'm Joey. Hi, Joey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. I think uh, it's very cool to be bringing these stories to life so I can share with other people who may not be as informed. So like you said, to share your stories and I'm glad that I was chosen to portray other people's stories. Well, you're, you're fairly young, so did you know about the internment uh, story before no. you were involved with no. this project? Yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. didn't know there were camps either and uh -huh. yeah. So yeah. it's very interesting to learn. Uh, we, when we first got here, that surprised me. A lot of people did, didn't know, you know, that uh, in the West Coast, um, the Japanese were uh, placed in internment camps. We were not supposed to talk about it. The older generation wanted to protect the younger generation. So, I mean, when you get into a situation where, you know, you have a lot of hatred, uh, you really don't want to agitate it. So I think that that was one reason why people said, don't talk about it. Because, you know, they're, they're afraid. Fear is very strong. People would throw rocks at me when I was a kid and, you know, saying, going back. I mean, it's kind of like even the African-Americans, you know, go back to Africa or go back to uh, Syria or wherever you are or we don't want, you know, Muslims here. It's, it's a, I mean, it's a strange phenomenon, but it, it exists and it's strong now. I think a lot of people, if they don't think about um, what happened historically, I mean, they may know us on a personal level and we grew up in this community. So maybe hearing the stories uh, might surprise them. I think that, that uh, when they learn about that, they are m more interested in knowing a little bit more about you, you know, on a personal level.